All right, guys, Deuteronomy 16. Observe the month of Abib and keep the Passover unto the Lord thy God. For in the month of Abib, the Lord thy God brought thee forth out of Egypt by night. The month of Abib, keep the Passover. Thou shalt therefore sacrifice the Passover unto the Lord thy God of the flock and the herd. In the place which the Lord shall choose to place his name there, thou shalt eat no leavened bread with it. Seven days shalt thou eat unleavened bread therewith, even the bread of affliction. For thou camest forth out of the land of Egypt in haste, that thou mayest remember the day when thou camest forth out of the land of Egypt all the days of thy life. And there shall be no leavened bread seen with thee in all thy coasts seven days, neither shall there anything of the flesh which thou sacrificed the first day at even, and remain all night until the morning. Thou mayest not sacrifice the Passover within any of the gates which the Lord thy God giveth thee, but at the place which the Lord thy God shall choose to place his name in. There thou shalt sacrifice the Passover at even, at the going down of the sun, at the season that thou camest forth out of Egypt, and thou shalt roast and eat it in the place which the Lord thy God shall choose, and thou shalt turn in the morning and go unto thy tent. Six days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day shall be a solemn assembly to the Lord thy God, Thou shalt do no work therein. Seven weeks shalt thou number unto thee. Begin to number the seven weeks from such time as thou beginnest to put the sickle to the corn. And thou shalt keep the feast of, of weeks unto the Lord thy God with the tribute of a free will offering of thy hand, which thou shalt give unto the Lord thy God according as the Lord thy God hath blessed thee. And thou shalt rejoice before the Lord thy God, thou and thy son and thy daughter and thy manservant and thy maidservant and the Levite that is within thy gates and the stranger and the fatherless and the widow that are among you in the place which the Lord thy God hath chosen to place his name there. And thou shalt remember Remember that thou was a bondman in Egypt, and thou shalt observe and do these statutes. So we're not done yet, but what's continuing to stand out, and we're just kind of like a metaphor. Don't forget what God did for you to do back to others. Don't forget what maybe just what others in life have done for you, and which kind of keeps you in check. Don't forget the good fortune that happened to you, whether it be luck or whether it be something you, you didn't even work for. You know, don't forget those kind of things. Thou shalt observe the feast of tabernacles seven days after that thou hast gathered in thy corn and wine. And thou shalt rejoice in thy feast, thou and thy son and thy daughter and thy manservant and thy maidservant and the Levite, the stranger and the fatherless and the widow that are within thy gate. Seven days shalt thou keep a solemn feast unto the Lord thy God in the place which the Lord shall choose because the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all thy increase and in all the works of thy hands. Therefore thou shalt surely rejoice. Three times in a year shall all thy males appear before the Lord thy God in the place which he shall choose in the feast of unleavened bread, and in the feast of weeks, and in the feast of tabernacles, and they shall not appear before the Lord empty. Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord thy God which he hath given thee. Judges and officers shalt thou make thee in all thy gates which the Lord thy God giveth thee throughout thy tribes. They shall judge the people with just judgment. Thou shalt not rest judgment that... Thou shalt not respect persons, neither take a gift, for a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise. Thou shalt not rest judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons, neither take a gift, for a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise, and pervert the words of the righteous. That which is altogether just shall thou follow, that thou, may, that thou mayest live and inherit the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not plant thee a grove of any trees near unto the altar of the Lord thy God, which thou shalt make thee, neither shalt thou set thee up any image. Which the Lord thy God had, which the Lord thy God hated. So I, so let me let me um, try to interpret this. Not interpret. It, let me just tell you what I think. So all this are commands. Do this. Do that. Do this. Do that. Which which makes sense if if there is a God, He's gonna be that way. Demand, demand, demand. Right. But then here he gets a little philosophical in a sense. Thou shalt not rest judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons. Like you shouldn't take one. You shouldn't be impartial. I'm going to be friends with that guy for what I could get from him. Oh, he's rich. He, he, he could open up gates for me. He could do things for me. That's what they mean by do not respect persons. Don't respect someone over another, right? Don't disrespect somebody who might be poor or less than you. Don't take a bribe for a gift that blind the eyes of the wise and pervert the words of the righteous. <laughs> That's powerful right there. This is Deuteronomy 16. I like that. That's profound right here. Profound. <gasps> Sorry. Deut. Deuteronomy 16. 19. 16, 19. Deuteronomy 16, 19. I mean, this is, he could even show a politician this. He could, 
You can show a businessman this. You can show someone who's greedy, avarice. I don't know, y'all. Hey, peace.